What's going on guys, Matt Schaefer back here with another install for you. This one I'm showing you is a 2019 GLS 450 Mercedes-Benz and we did some K40 radar and laser integration using the new RL 360DI. We used four optics laser diffusers in the front of this grill, stealthily hidden into the grill. So we built, built brackets, mounts that basically bolt to the factory grill and they hold four of the optics diffusers and we we did it to kind of flush in and like i said stealth into the front of the bumper so obviously you see a lot of this black acrylic here in this front grill which makes it a lot easier to interface our sensors in so um looking at this we did two here on this side two here on this side uh, we use a special acrylic to do this. It's basically the same exact acrylic that you see on the front of the laser head. Um, we have, like I said, two on each side. I'll overlay some pictures right here so you can see what it looks like without this acrylic topping. So obviously all of those are uh, flat with the ground pointed straight out in the front of the car, even though these are on an angle. We mounted these and made the bracket to where we could shift the sensor within that bracket to make it straight with the front of the car. The radar piece is right here behind the front bumper. And of course, like always, when we uh, do these laser heads, they're attached to the bumper, so we wanna make them serviceable. So we have two Molex connectors that ride alongside the factory connectors that you can see here. And uh, it makes it to where this front bumper is serviceable, just like it's factory. So these diffusers are in the bumper, bolted to the bumper, and the bumper still can be uninstalled like a factory bumper. You don't have to worry about anything being hardwired. Moving on to the rear of the vehicle, we have the typical plate frame that you see here. This is from K40 and it has the LTS diffuser that bolts into this plate frame. So this is something that you can purchase through K40 and uh, it bolts right onto the back of the car, still keeping it somewhat stealth. Now sitting inside the car, when you turn on the car, you'll notice the K40 boots up. K40 scan active. And the LEDs are actually installed where the factory turn signals are. GPS connected. So instead of flushing the LEDs somewhere in the cluster, I always like, if I can, to mount those where the turn signals are. That way, when you are, when you're driving, it doesn't really light up the whole interior. Sometimes you see the K40 LEDs and you see if they're mounted here, it kind of glows up the entire interior. This keeps it concealed into the front and it doesn't mirror or bounce or reflect throughout the whole interior. Uh, so if you are trying to install this very stealth, that's the best way to do it. Front K-band. Rear K-band. So right now I'm shooting radar from inside the car just so you can kind of see how it works and how it functions and sounds inside the car. So we have that. I can't really shoot, obviously, the laser because I have to do that outside the car. Everything, like I said, speaker gets installed behind the dash. Uh, you don't physically see anything change in here. Uh, I flushed in the remote. I took the, the wireless controller that it comes with and I made my own display here where the essentially the ashtray is. Um, so you can pull this out. There's a Alcantara suede bottom there with the K40 logo uh, embroidered into the Alcantara suede. And again, this you can just keep in your hand at this point, uh, put it back in here where it just sits perfectly in. And then you can close that to conceal it. But again, this just gives you an idea of how a a stealth radar system that we install operates within the vehicle. So again, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, you want us to work on your car, here's my email address here that you can contact us with. Here is my phone number. This is a direct line to me so we can talk about your project. Uh, you can follow us on social media here. Here's all three of our handles. And then like always guys, uh, make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching.